This is Joanne, and in just a few days, I will be heading to India with the International Reporting Project to examine issues of child survival with nine other journalists selected for the project. We will be heading to Mumbai, Nagpur, New Delhi, and slum and rural areas in the vicinity of these cities. We are then to share our findings with our social media and blog audience, so you'll be hearing a lot more from me in the upcoming days. Many of the issues surrounding child survival in India, malnutrition, maternal fetal health, sanitation, infectious diseases, and vaccinations can be viewed as social issues that stem from the difficulties of being a developing nation with a tremendously large population and many of them living below the poverty level and without education. Segments of India, however, are thriving and growing and on the cutting edge of technology with some of the most highly educated people in the world, making India a land of disparities. According to Angela Saini, author of Geek Nation, How Indian Science is Taking Over the World, almost one in five of all medical and dental staff in the UK is of Indian origin, and one in six employed scientists in science and engineering in the US is Asian. In her book, she journeys to meet the inventors, engineers, and young scientists helping to give birth to the world's next superpower built on the scientific ingenuity of its people. Her book is an expose of how a very religious and even superstitious people has put its faith in science and technology, and how technology is even trickling down to the poor. The chapters in her book take a look at many areas of science and technology, including genetic engineering and space travel and medical and health care and agriculture, and all of these become distinctively Indian flavored. It's a great book and I highly recommend it, especially if you have an interest in science. The child survival issue in India is significant. The organization Save the Children indicates that India lags behind most countries in health care for children. This is not an unrecognized problem, just a massive one that requires a concerted effort to address the issues. As I talk to you now, in India is the UNICEF and USAID Children's Survival Summit. So even though these child survival issues have a very strong social and political overarching theme, my thoughts are always turning towards STEM topics, science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. How do these topics explain, inform, and attempt to solve the massive issues related to child survival plaguing India and other impoverished areas of the world? In the few days leading up to the trip, I will provide an introductory series about the issues we will be examining from a STEM perspective and explain these for a general audience. I will look at the issues one per day, infectious diseases, vaccinations, malnutrition, sanitation and environmental issues, and maternal and fetal health. And each time, I will look into how science has furthered our understanding of these topics and which famous scientists have played a role in our understanding of these topics. I will also try to list the types of scientists and engineers that work on these type of topics. But I hope to provide some insight into the fields of science and engineering one could choose and potentially make significant impacts in improving health and survival across the world. So please stay tuned. There will be video and there will be blog posts. Thank you all for listening and for caring. And I'll talk to you soon.